Good morning, grade five. I hope you are doing well. Okay, so today is the revision of weather and climate. Pardon me for my low tone, a little fever today. So let us start off with weather. So I will be doing from your textbook. Okay. Uh, first, we'll start off with the definition of weather. So, weather is the condition of a place prevailing over a short period of time in a small area. Okay. So, we may experience different weather during the day and because of uh, weather changes constantly. Next is climate. Climate is the average of weather conditions that uh, over a long period of time across a large area. So first thing you need to learn about the definitions of weather and climate and second thing you need to know what is the difference between weather and climate. Okay, so the climate of a place influences the lifestyle of people, uh, crops grown, clothes worn, food eaten and houses built. Now factors that determine climate are the second very important thing. First is difference from the equator. So we know what the equator is and we know how far that place is located from the equator. So then the sun has a major influence on the climate of a place. The area is near the sun, near the equator, get direct heat from the sun and is thus hotter than the rest of the areas. The rays of the sun vertically fall over the equator covering a small area so in such places the climate is very hot so that is simple thing right if this is the earth this is equator and this is sun then sun's rays directly fall on equator that makes it very hot and sun's rays slantingly fall on the poles that the that makes the climate a little less hot there okay now as we move away from the equator the sun's rays slanting rays of the sun are spread over a large area this makes the climate less hot that is what i told you height above the sea level is another very important factor okay so the height of a place above the sea level is known as altitude you need to know the definition of altitude the higher we go, the cooler it gets. Places located at higher altitudes are cooler than places located at lower altitude. Okay. Now, that is the reason why Bangalore and Chennai are almost at the same altitude. But Chennai is, but Bangalore is much cooler than Chennai. Now, let's talk about distance from the sea. How far the place is located from the sea? So, if we talk about, this is a deck in India, right? This is the sea, right? And this is somewhere where Bombay is. This is somewhere where Delhi is. So this place is much hotter than, much cooler than this place. Right? Because this place is close to the sea and this place is far away from the sea. Understood? Now, places closer to the sea are neither very hot nor very cold. Whereas places far away from the sea have extreme climates. Delhi is very cold in winter and very hot in summer because it is far away from the sea. In summer, the breeze from the sea pulls the hot air of the land. While in winter, <coughs> the warm breeze from the sea prevents the air on land from getting cold. Sea breeze is warm because water loses its heat slowly. Okay, now... Direction of winds. From which direction the winds are blowing? That is another important factor. So, winds influence the weather of a place depending on the place of their origin. The winds coming from cold region decrease the temperature of a place and winds coming from hot region increase the temperature of a place. Humidity. You need to know the definition of humidity. The amount of moisture or water vapor in the air is called humidity. Humidity affects the climate of a place. Winds blowing from sea have a lot of moisture in them. That is why places near the sea such as Mumbai and Chennai are very humid. Now, heat zones or temperature zones. There are basically three zones that we've talked about. You need to learn this diagram. Okay, so first is that we've talked about torrid zone or tropical zone that is near the equator. 
that receives direct rays of the sun. The areas which lie on both the sides of the equator between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is known as torrid zone. Frigid zone is the coldest zone. Upper niche. The zone receives the steep and slanting rays of the sun. The areas which lie between the Arctic Circle and North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere is known as North Frigid Zone. And likewise, Antarctic Circle and South Pole is known as South Frigid Zone. And last is Temperate Zone. The zone receives slanting rays of the sun. The areas which lie between Torrid Zone and Frigid Zone are in both hemispheres is known as Temperate Zone. This is neither too hot nor too Cold. So today we've done revision of weather and climate. Please read this chapter very properly, very slowly from your textbook and from your course book both. Thank you. Have a nice day.